Hey VC, it's Jonathan, your cheap and cheerful record collector. I hope everybody's doing well out there today. Um, this past weekend, I was up in Rockland, Maine for the North Atlantic Blues Festival, which they've had every year. I think it's 30 years now. There it is. And it's always like, I think, the second weekend in July. Um, and they always have a lot of bands that I've never heard of before, but they're always really top-notch. And they always have one or two headliners or people you actually know of. So uh, I only went for one day this year. I only went for Saturday. Uh, Saturday started off with a man named Gabe Stillman, who I never heard of. Really nice band. Uh, he's a graduate of Berklee School of Music. Yada, yada, yada. Really good. Second guy was a guy named John Tavius Willis. And he played acoustic country blues. And that was a really nice show. Um, each band, each member, each, oh, I'm sorry, each artist gets one hour to perform and they really keep it to an hour. They keep it really moving along well. It's great. The third artist, I didn't realize when I saw the name, but it hit me obviously in a minute. The guy's name is Bernard Allison. And it wasn't until I started reading this bio of him that I found out he's the son of Luther Allison, the great uh, blues guitar player. Bernard really tore it up. He played, he's, he was just great. And he was so great that after his show, they always have a table on the side where people can go and get records and CDs signed by the artist. So I had to go over and grab his album, Bernard Allison, Highs and Lows. I haven't had a chance to spin it because I've been having all sorts of trouble with my turntable, which I'm taking in Thursday to a specialist. And hopefully he'll be able to get me back up and running. But yeah, Bernard Allison, and uh, he was kind enough to sign the inner sleeve for me. That was sort of nice. Um, he did a great version of Hendrix's um, Voodoo Child. Fantastic. Really great. Uh, after him at the uh, festival, there was someone I never heard of again named Selwyn Birchwood. And he played more funky blues, but was really great. And then the day ended up with... Shamika Copeland, closing out the show. She was, of course, Shamika Copeland, great blues uh, shouter, singer. So good. So that was day one. I only went one day this year. Um, it's an hour and a half drive from my house, so to go back two days in a row becomes a thing, and to spend the night at a hotel becomes another thing. So I usually pick one day each festival I want to go to, and I really wanted to see Shamika Copeland, so that was really cool. So that was my... Uh, uh, weekend at the uh, Blues Festival. Uh, yesterday, I get a notice on Facebook from a friend saying a local store, Bull Moose Music, in the Scarborough had just gotten a whole bunch of jazz albums that they had in their used record bin. So, I had to go up there today. Um, first one up, really great. Uh, this is still sealed, so of course I haven't listened to it yet. And it's a tone poet, Andrew Hill, and this is uh, Dance with Death with um, Charles Tolliver on trumpet, Joe Farrell on tenor sax and soprano sax, Andrew Hill, of course, on piano, Victor Sproles on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. And it's still a sealed tone poet, about $10 less than a new tone poet, even though this is new. So, couldn't say no to that. Um, also, used was Ben Webster. Ben Webster plays Duke Ellington. Um, this is a European pressing. I mean, it's used, but it looks, I mean, it's so shiny. It looks brand new on Storyville. You can see how shiny that vinyl is. And on the great Storyville label. So that's pretty cool. This was recorded um, in the 60s and 70s. Slip this in here. Uh, yeah, according to this, mostly recorded 67, 71, mostly in Denmark, Danish radio, yeah. So mostly in Denmark, late 60s, early 70s, Ben Webster. Uh, the next one, I really don't know this guy at all, but it was so cheap. It was like two, two and a half, three dollars. Uh, Don Scaletta, the Don Scaletta Trio, love that cover. Uh, it's a trio. He's a piano player. Also with Ted Blondell on bass and Nikki Lampkin on drums. I don't know who they are. 
came in the original inner sleeve and it's U capital mono label. Again, so clean, looks virtually brand new. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of jazz it is, but I like the tr like trio jazz. And like I said, the price was so cheap, it was hard to say no to. Um, also found the next one, which I'm a big fan of this next uh, musician. And that is Art Farmer. And this is Art Farmer Quintet, Blame It On My Youth. Like I said, these are all used. This is on the contemporary label uh, with Art Farmer on flugelhorn, Clifford Jordan on tenor and soprano sax, James Williams on piano, Rufus Reed on acoustic bass, and Victor Lewis on drums. Recorded in New York City, 1988, February 4th and 8th. And on the yellow contemporary records label. Like I said, all these records look so clean. It's quite amazing. And the prices are all great. So I can't turn down a, a, a bargain. And then this one's still sealed. I don't know. I, my Buddy Tate and Al Gray called Just Jazz. Uh, I know Buddy Tate. I don't know Al Gray. Buddy Tate, tenor sax and clarinet, Al Gray on trombone. Richard Wyans on piano, Major Holy on bass, and Al Harwood on drums. So I know Al Harwood, not personally, but I know the name, know his, his music. So looking forward to digging into this on Uptown Records, still sealed. And the last one is one that I've had years ago on CD and did not know that they uh, had released it on vinyl. So when I saw it, I had to grab it, and it's Johnny Johnson. Johnny Be Bad. Uh, Johnny Johnson played piano for Chuck Berry, along with um, uh, a number of other piano players. Uh, this is his, uh, I think one of the only solo albums. <clears throat> and on here is uh, Eric Clapton's on here, Keith Richards backs him up, a bunch of other people. There it is. Uh, I used to love this record. I used to listen to this all the time on uh, CD, so I'm so happy to have it on vinyl. He does songs like one of the, well, Tangeray, Hush Oh Hush, Johnny Be Bad, Stepping In What, Can You Stand It, Key to the Highway, Cow Cow Blues, produced by uh, Keith Richards. So really great stuff. Johnny Johnson, Johnny Be Bad. Oh, and the label on this one is, is Euclid Records. Nice little label there. As you see, again, so clean. Looks virtually brand new. So that's what I picked up today. Um, hopefully I'll have my turntable working by, uh, I'm taking it to a guy Thursday. So hopefully by Thursday afternoon I'll have my turntable up and running and everything will be fine. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Got some great stuff today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the new subscribers I've gotten. Um, people taking the time out of their day to watch my silly little videos. Okay, thanks so much. Hey, until next time, peace.